guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jazzy, and if you're a returning viewer, thanks for tuning in for another video. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys some pieces I recently picked up from My Name My Necklace. I'm so excited to share with you guys the new items I'll be adding to my collection. So if you guys are interested to see what I picked up from My Name My Necklace, to see their quality of their pieces, or just to see what I got in general, make sure you guys stay tuned for the video. Before I go ahead and jump right in, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there. It would really warm my heart to have one more subscriber. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell so every time I upload a video, you won't miss out on any of my content. All right, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. So when you first receive your items, they do come in a box, and this is what the box looks like. And my box is beaten up pretty badly, but honestly, you guys, it's what matters what's inside the most to me. I just wanna make sure my pieces are nice and safely packaged. So they do have a lot of tissue paper. Once you first open up your package, as you guys can see, like this is a lot. This is a little bit excessive, but I appreciate them for you know taking precautionary steps and measures to make sure my pieces don't get damaged while they're en route. And so once you open up the packaging, this is what their boxes look like that your jewelry comes in. I'll go ahead and show you guys up close so you'll be able to see. This is what the packaging looks like. It's really nice. It has like this faux leather material and on the box it says, my name, my necklace. So I picked up a total of four different necklaces. I picked up two sterling silver and then two gold. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share with you guys the necklaces I picked up. So the first piece of jewelry I picked up is this really cute necklace. And the necklace is gold and it says Jasmine on it. It's in the Old English style font. And I've picked up many necklaces in this font from My Name My Necklace. And what I've learned, you guys, is if you're gonna buy a necklace from them with their Old English font, be sure that your name does not have a Z in it because if it does, their Zs typically break and they're so fragile for me. I notice all of my name necklaces that say Jasmine on them with the old English font, they typically don't last long and it's because they always break right there where the A and the Z connects and it's so annoying, but I understand it's not their fault, it's really my fault for having a Z in the middle of my name. So I am gonna go ahead and try this necklace on to show you guys what it looks like. So this is what the My Name My Necklace looks like in Old English with My Name Jasmine on it. It is so cute, super dainty. I feel like this would go perfect with the other gold pieces I already have in my collection. Like I have one in this font, the Old English, that says Jazzy JT. So it'll be really cute to wear them both together. I have one that says Jazzy JT as well as one that says Jasmine now. So I have some gold pieces that I think would look really good layered and I feel like this just fits perfectly with the pieces I already have in my collection. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this necklace off to show you guys what the next one looks like. The next necklace I decided to pick up is another piece that I got that said Jasmine on it. It is so cute. I'm not sure if you guys would be able to see that but it is silver and what I really like about this necklace is the way that the light hits it makes it look like it's sparkly, makes it look like it has these rhinestones on it. You guys know when light hit rhinestones, it has this really pretty bling effect, but this necklace actually doesn't have any stones or studs on it. It's just the way that the necklace was made that when the light hits it, it looks so pretty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this one on so you guys will be able to see what it looks like. So this is what the jasmine necklace looks like. It does hang a little longer than the old English jasmine gold chain that I just showed you guys. I really like this necklace so much because it's super unique. Again, it doesn't have those stones on it. So if you're someone who wears like a lot of lace or a lot of sheer, your stones can definitely catch on to your fabrics of your clothes and it can become really annoying. So if you're someone who likes that effect that the bling and the crystals give, but you don't necessarily like all the problems that come with it I definitely think this would be a good recommendation for you because honestly you guys when the light hits this necklace it sparkles a lot it really looks like crystals it looks like CZs it looks like rhinestones it's just a really pretty necklace and I really like the way that the chain is a little longer so it gives me a little more like neck space to add any other necklaces that I might have wanted to pair with this chain which I'm so here for I love a good layered look which is why I'm constantly buying jewelry I 
I'm constantly adding new pieces to my collection because I can just never have enough jewelry on at one time. As you guys can see, I have on earrings, I have on two rings, and I'm just obsessed with jewelry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this necklace off to show you guys the next one that I picked up. The next necklace I picked up is something I typically would not wear, but you guys, I had to get this chain when I seen it because I have a bracelet that I typically wear that's in the same style. And I just felt like because I'm always wearing necklaces, it would just be so awesome if I could get a necklace that would match the bracelet that I wear. And as you guys know, you guys have probably seen this bracelet here on my channel because I wear a lot of gold. So this is what the necklace looks like. It is so freaking cute. As you guys can see, it matches perfectly with my ID bracelet. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to try this on for you guys. It is so cute. So this is what the chain looks like on, and let me tell you guys, I absolutely love this necklace. This is by far my favorite piece that I've picked up in this whole haul so far, and I really like the way this chain lays. It has some nice weight to it. It doesn't feel really light. It feels like you can feel the weight to the piece, and I really like that. Honestly, you guys, I think I'm gonna be wearing this necklace more than I intended because it just looks so freaking cute. It matches my aesthetics. It will go perfect with all of my outfits like it just looks so freaking pretty I'm so sad to take it off but out of all of the necklaces that I've showed you guys so far today plus the ones I've showed you guys in my previous videos of like previous hauls and unboxing from my name my necklace this is my favorite one so far I really do love this necklace so so much and I also like the fact that this necklace says J it's so cute so minimal it's not a lot but it looks so cute the way that it is if you might have added any more letters like my entire name I feel like it might be a little too much but so far with the three letters I'm really digging it the last necklace I have to share with you guys is something that I immediately knew I had to have when I seen it for two reasons one because it was sterling silver and I just love silver pieces as you guys know I have more of a gold collection than I do a silver collection which is something that I am trying to build up but the second reason was I've never seen anything as unique as this piece and the fact that you were able to customize it which I really love about my name my necklace they make anything possible when it comes to customization so make sure you guys check their website out and they were so nice to give me a coupon code for you guys if you wanted to make a purchase from their website make sure you guys check the description box because I will have all of that information down there but the last necklace I picked up is this really cute sterling silver bar necklace I've never seen a necklace like this before now on the front side it has some really pretty crystals on it and if you were to turn it to the side, it has engraved my name, which is so freaking cute, you guys. I have it to say Jazzy JT. I'm gonna try to show you guys without actually like turning the necklace. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but it is so freaking cute. I actually really, really like this necklace. I've been wearing it already. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me wear this in my videos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this on and then I'll be able to share with you guys some of the things that I noticed about these chains that I did wanna point out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this on and then I'll share my final thoughts with you guys. So this is what the last and final necklace looks like on. It is so pretty. Now I did wanna come on here and share with you guys a few things that I noticed about the jewelry that I picked up and I did wanna share some things with you guys. So I'm gonna start off with the one that I'm currently wearing. So on their website, I'm pretty sure you had the option to choose the size chain that you wanted it to be and that's something I really wish I would've changed about this necklace is the length of the chain itself. But besides that, I really do enjoy the pendant. I love the fact that it says Jazzy JT on the side. It is just so freaking cute. I love this necklace so much and I'm not really upset that it's like the length of a choker, but I think I would have loved this necklace a little more if I did choose a longer chain. But like I said, I believe they do have that option on the website. So make sure you're selecting the size chain accordingly. But yeah, if you get the shortest chain, I believe that's the one I got. This is where it falls. It's almost like a choker. It is so cute. And to be honest with you guys, I feel like this necklace goes so nicely with my jewelry that I have on today. So I think I am just going to leave this necklace on because it matches so perfectly with my hoop 
earrings with a nice little bedazzled jewels on it and it also does matches my rings which is so flawless so yeah I think I'm gonna keep this necklace on obviously if I'm going to wear it already you guys can tell I'm a bit obsessed already so I am gonna go ahead and leave this necklace on now I did want to go ahead and share with you guys one last thing I noticed about these pieces now the necklace that I really really love so much this one that says J on it this was actually the only necklace that had the best clasp on it I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that But this was the best clasp of all of the chains. As you guys know, I have nails and I'm always wearing my nails. So it's very hard for me to put on jewelry, but it's not impossible. But it makes it even harder when they have like these little small C-clip type hooks. And that's what the first two necklaces had that I shared with you guys. So the first two necklaces were a little harder to put on by myself with my long nails. But the third necklace, the one that I just showed you guys was the easiest and this one right here was in between it wasn't too hard to put on but it wasn't like the third one that I just showed you guys so I did want to go ahead and mention that to you guys so this way if you have longer nails like myself or if you don't necessarily have someone who might be able to help you apply your jewelry that's something you want to keep in mind and consider so you might have to have like a co-worker or a classmate help you apply your pieces but other than that I am obsessed with my pieces let me know down in the comment section below which one was your favorite and I'll catch you guys in my next video.